Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Solar Radiation, Global Warming and Human Disease. And we're here to review one of the subjects of that book and that is plant growth defects. And this is my stray voltage exposed plant. So this plant is actually connected to this round pin and this is commonly called the grounding pin in America. So this green cable comes out and goes into the pot and the pot is filled with the copper wire from this cable and this plant has been grown for several months now in a stray voltage exposure situation from my grounding system as my grounding system has classic stray voltage of a few volts on it and it has many frequencies on it so this plant has actually reacted in a very interesting way and you can see kind of the last of the original leaves that's right here. Actually the, the size of your hand and the filled with heavy patterning. Well, the, the first leaf that came up after connecting it into stray voltage looked like this. So almost all the patterning had gone and the structure of the leaf had changed. And then this is all new growth that has come up since it's been connected in on stray voltage. And you can see that we now have somewhat miniature leaves coming up and it has this nice little crown of leaf growth on it but it's not the way it's supposed to look so it's probably the best looking plant i actually have in the home right now because i've been growing many many of these plants and i actually discovered last year that they were being greatly affected by wireless radiation fields from utility wireless transmitting meters and also from my wireless devices. So I took those out of service and uh, the growth is now showing this patterning again, but it's, it's not quite the way it should be. But I'm gonna give you a side view of this plant because I wanna show you the structure underneath this. So this is how the plant looks. So it's got a very, very unique structure to it. I haven't seen a Diphenbachia look like this. So we've got this lower canopy of very small, non-patterned green leaves. And that is crowned by this higher canopy of these heavily patterned miniature leaves. So it's definitely been affected by stray voltage and it's actually produced a very handsome plant. But the plant is not normal. So this is a Frankenstein plant. So, you know, I've got quite a few Frankenstein plants in the house and this is one of them, but it's, it's probably the most beautiful out of the Frankenstein plants. So, I'm very, very impressed when I look at this, but the, the sad thing is it's not supposed to look like this. This is what it used to look like. So, this is what Diphenbachias look like when you buy them. So, it's also known as the dumb cane. It's a very common house plant very dense leaf growth on it. You see the branching structure on it. It's very, it's a very beautiful looking plant, very common house plant. You find it in many homes. But the great thing about it is it's a great plant to assess electromagnetic environmental radiation. And these plants react to wireless radiation fields. So if you can't grow one of these plants in your home that looks like this, you should be concerned because it means you've probably got some very strange wireless radiation fields taking place. And you should get to the bottom of why you can't grow the plant that looks like this. So that's my stray voltage plant. It's uh, been grown, I believe, since last June, so June 2012. It's now March 2013, and this is what it looks like. So very, very interesting. So we're gonna leave it growing for some more time. and. We're going to see what happens when the summertime air conditioning season comes in and the stray voltage peaks on the electrical system. So that's the plant. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.